project to be with you in the daytime. Hi, I'm Mark Nomad, and I'm here to celebrate Dave Davies' 70th birthday. He was born February 3rd, 1947. You know, Dave was a member of the very famous Kinks, and they are members of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and have enjoyed many other accolades. But I want to just share how important uh, Dave was to me personally when I first started playing music. You know, at the height of the British invasion in 1964, we had tremendous groups coming from, you know, the United Kingdom. We had the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Zombies, the Searchers, Jerry and the Pacemakers. But when the Kinks arrived, and I want to say the Animals too, because they were a bluesy group. But when the Kinks arrived, we'd never heard anything quite like that. With the riff rock that these guys pervade, arguably, they laid the groundwork for hard rock and heavy metal. We got to hear those songs, You Really Got Me, and All Day and All the Night on the radio, AM radio in those days, and we're going, what the heck is that? It was so catchy, gripping, very edgy. And I got to see the Kinks on Shindig playing both of those songs. And by the way, there have been rumors that Jimmy Page played guitar on those singles. All you have to do is watch the live shindig footage of Dave Davies playing that Epiphone Casino. 17 years old, the longest hair I'd ever seen on a guy. He had it parted down the middle, and he was rocking. You hear the sounds, you hear the notes, so that should lay all those rumors to rest. Now, Dave's older brother, Ray, of course, is a genius singer-songwriter. And they came out with so many songs, they were not limited to the riff rock of their early hits. But that those early edgy tunes put them on the map. They followed those songs up by uh, Tired of Waiting, A Well-Respected Man, uh, Sunny Afternoon. And, and then, you know, went on to do, you know, uh, Waterloo Sunset and Lola. And, uh, but I dare say that, that without his younger brother, uh, Dave Davies, Ray would not have made the mark that he did when they first came out. He needed his assistance. Now, of course, the Davies brothers are notorious for their sibling rivalry, to say the least. A friend of mine saw them live one time, and they got into a tussle on stage, and a martial lamp did fall to the ground. Uh, but, uh, and they, I know they've gone years without speaking. I understand they're speaking now. And there's a biopic in the works, almost done. There are rumors of their reunion. And I also want to wish Dave uh, a very happy birthday because this man uh, was able to heal himself. He had a, a debilitating stroke 10 years ago and pretty much had to teach himself how to do everything all over again. And he had the strength and the positive attitude to do just that. So I would leave you all with a, a little tune that I think is the theme for us waiting for their hopeful reunion. 